Okay, we're live on two of the Facebook pages. We're live on YouTube. Looks like uh, one of them's having a little problem. Let me just redo it. Yeah, it's on. All right. All righty. Let me just play the intro, allow people time to come in, and uh, then we'll get Greg Prescott up here from N5D, my brother. <laughs> Get uh, Greg Prescott up here. Welcome everybody. We are uh, live on our three Facebook pages in the Zoom room and on YouTube, Soldier One Studios channel. I'm looking forward to talking to Greg because uh, he's been in this a long, long time. Uh, let me just see. Gotta... Okay. All right. Let's see. Anyway, everyone knows Greg's been in the game a long, long time. There's a lot of it. There's a lot of interesting topics on the table. So let's, uh, let me just get them up here. Hang on, start video on me. You're good. You hear me? Oh shit, I can't hear you. Oh wait, I got oh, you, wait. I'm, okay, we got you. All right. <laughs> What's going on, man? What's happening? There's a, lot of, there's a lot of amazing stuff going down right now, isn't there? Yeah, there is. We just had that big wiki leaks drop that yeah. I'm yeah. inboxed by 5,000 people. <laughs> what's what's that? What happened? Did you not? Oh my gosh. Well, just about everybody on my friends list, it seems like uh, inboxed me. Um, oh, inboxed you the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, about the wiki leaks drop. And then, you know, Wilcock had his video last night about that. Uh, who was that? David Wilcock. Oh, that's right. I saw, yeah, I saw the very end of that. I kind I came in on the very end of it. You yeah. know, and so this is, you're like the, the, the one person I'd want to talk to about this subject because you tend to, you, you, you never let your guard down. You like, you, you've got that curiosity like I do, you know, you know, that that's that is out there, so to speak. So for a reason, and at the same time, you're like, you know, you're just like, you, you're, you're, you're like me, you're the last one to be sold, <laughs> but, yeah. but I wanted to bring it up like this and lead into it like this. So the, a lot of people's intel has been converging uh, this year, especially. And if I just look at, for instance, uh, Franco and Jason Estes, Amanda Lawrence, Sandra Walter, I mean, a lot of people, a lot, and a lot of people that are, that are not as visible, that maybe don't make videos. I, I read one, I think the lady's name was Linda Liu yesterday. Morgan showed it to me, Linda Lee. Uh, but anyway, what I'm getting at is, and even in what uh, Morgan and I received, like two or three nights ago, which was there was going to be like a 20% increase across the board in, you know, I guess you could use a lot of different words, disclosure, higher skills and abilities and so on. Jason's uh, post this morning was basically stating that as of today, or well, between now and the end of the month, that we'll go from 10% disclosure to 30% disclosure. And of course, these are all metaphoric and energetic explanations. But here we have the WikiLeaks drop. 
We've got, you know, the funding taken away from the World Health Organization. We've got Bill Gates getting bombarded. Marina Bravnik, whatever her name is, just being stupid <laughs> and getting, a, getting a, 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 an article in the New York Times. But what does that mean to the common people? I mean, it looks like there is a trend occurring in the external world that we share where there's more and more disclosure at the same time it's creating a couple of things one obviously with the coronavirus there's this fear-based programming that's obvious you know and then on the other end there's almost like a savior-based programming that we're familiar with too you know through religion and nationalism and that type of thing and that'd be the q movement and, and things like that and uh you know here we are trying to integrate in this beautiful realm we call Mother Earth, and uh, we know that at some point everything is the same, everything is one, all aspects of dark and light, but this is getting really interesting. Uh, so yeah, I'll lead in with it like that. What are your views? What are your thoughts? Where are you coming from? I agree. Next question. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. That's like, that's like an interviewer's worst nightmare is a person that just goes, "Yep." Uh -huh. I had one of those. <laughs> that's one time. it. Uh, would you please? I'm lucky. Me? In eight, 1800 shows, I've had one. I mean, I remember one. It was like pulling teeth for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last time I was on, perhaps. <laughs> no, no, no. no, the last time you were on, I was in Hawaii. We went like two hours, man. It was like uh, yeah, it, was, yeah. it was a lot like it is right now, actually there was a lot of movement energetically in the field and we just happened to connect on that day. And I remember that show. Well, it's like when, yeah, when I had you on mine, I had you on for like two hours also. Yeah. Hey. yeah. <laughs> right. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. It's funny. Um, I got, actually, I want to thank you first of all, for um, having this format and encouraging other people like me to do the same. And uh, you know, I've, been doing something similar to you, but a little bit different, you know, with the spirit chat. As a matter of fact, I'll be having one right after this yeah. at three o'clock. But um, I want to thank you for that. I also want to thank you for inadvertently uh, introducing me to Allie, Allison Janes. I didn't know that. I was going to congratulate you and congratulations <laughs> on your new relationship, but I didn't know I introduced you to her. How did that happen? Well, it's it happened in January when we had that beach meetup. Um, so I went through your friends list. Yeah. And let me preface this beforehand. Back in 2007, 2008 or so, I had this dream where I met my twin flame. And the only thing I remembered about her were her eyes, her nose, and her smile. But it was burned into my mind. Yeah. And uh, because I had saw her in my dream, I always thought it was she was on the other side of the veil, that she didn't incarnate with me. So I'm going through, flash forward to January of this past year, I'm going through your friends list after we made that uh, agreement to have a beach meetup, because right. I wanted to make sure that anyone that sent me a friend request that was one of your friends, that I would be friends with them. So I went through your friends list and I'm adding everybody's friends. You know, I've got like a thousand people backed up on my own list. Right, right. It's, I, I go through each personality, each profile and look at each one before I add them. I just don't add people. But I was going through yours and I, I was just adding anyone that was on your list because I trust, well, you know, if they're friends with you, they're, they're friends with me. And I was going through and I was adding people. And as I was scrolling through, I saw Allison's picture. Wow. And uh, there, it, the, the eyes, the nose, the smile, it was her and I just gasped. <laughs> I'm like, she's here. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't expect that. So I sent her a friend request and we kind of, kind of went back and forth you know, uh, more me than her. <laughs> so initially she kind of stalked me in my dreams and then I kind of stalked her and right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was my template too. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, so I, you know, eventually made a, uh, a, a schedule, I scheduled a reading with her cause she does tarot and she's wonderful at tarot. Um, so I eventually had a reading with her and we just went off tangentially on so many things. It's supposed to be an hour reading. It went well over two hours and um and we just took things from there and it's just everything we have in common every possible facet of our personality is identical um so wow. there's absolutely no doubt with her so it's i have to give you credit though for it for wow thank you thank you man i mean i mean i feel i i just have this thing with you i don't know what it is 
uh i don't know man it's like i don't know <laughs> it's like yeah, two, have a two pieces of, yeah it's like two pieces of a puzzle fit together and i remember hearing stories about right bringing star, star family in. brother uh, but I remember um, hearing stories, you know, Laura, I think her name's Laura Hazel, the one that works with yeah. the dolphins um, yeah. and, and you and some other people that are less visible that were all in that area where you're at. And then we end up getting that conference, our first conference that we ever did. And we're right up, you know, right up the street. And uh, wow, you know, we had that, that, you know, spontaneous gathering under the tree and then we had another one and yeah, it's just been really cool, but yeah, I'm glad to, to be a part of it. And I think that's what these platforms do. And I just want to tell everybody, you know, I do a lot of shows, but this man, he puts as many hours a day, uh, if not more actually, uh, a, into broadcasting and bringing these, uh, you know, bringing our experiences together and they does a hell of a job with it. I think most of them are, in the evening you usually put in like three to four hours in the evening straight with a group chat and it's really cool if you ever just you know i've i've just turned it on like when i'm doing work and just listen and everybody has a voice and it's a very cool platform so thank you for that yeah. oh my pleasure brother uh, just real quick i, I want to point this out real quick uh, while we have a chance mm -hmm. um, because I, I wrote an article about it earlier we can see that the schumann resonance is still yeah. going strong oh, is, it, is this right current now. yeah right now this is as of one Holy minute ago, shiitake it. mushrooms. No yeah. wonder Morgan's having physical uh, ramifications. But, you know, um, there was another one that I guess would have been what? If we go back like 24 hours, it was like yes. ran for 48 hours. Oh, my gosh. Well, this one, I, yeah. I think this is peeking out. I can't really read that right there. I'm going to throw it into paint shop yeah. real quick. Um, oh, my God. Yeah. One four, look at that. 140. We're peeking at right there. Wow. Um, yeah, that's that's the second highest I've seen. I just put an article out on N5D. Well, Bam, cool. white out with near record Schumann uh, frequencies. Wow. I mean, a year ago, we had the uh, the record at 150. Uh, yeah. We hit 150 on the um, amplitude, but we're at 140 right now. So who knows? It could actually go higher than that. But I thought I'd bring that up. Yeah, and can you? I mean, because you know, I've seen different explanations on the Schumann resonance, and the way I look at it, when those numbers start going up, it doesn't really matter. Cause you know, something's happening cause it usually matches what's going on, but what, what, what's the deal with the whiteouts? I mean that, that I remember a couple of days ago, somebody put up a post and they said, Oh, it's been 48 straight hours. And they had the picture like you did of the whiteout. What is that usually, or what, is there anything that you know about that? High energetic frequencies are coming in yeah. right now. Um, and people react to that differently. Some people, it knocks their asses out. Other people, yeah. it just, gives them a lot of energy myself i feel the energy from it i'm i'm like it feels like i drank uh you know a pot of coffee to be honest i've never made a pot of coffee in my life i have no Is idea right? how to make coffee <laughs> yeah. I, I don't i'm you know i drink water that's that's my beverage so uh, but yeah man. that's Smart what man. well you and i were talking about that um at the meetup how now is the time for you know, people to, to get rid of their addictions and, you know, through my heart attack that I had last year, quit smoking like that. That, that yeah. was pretty to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's right. We did talk about that because we had yeah. just gotten uh, like a couple of months before we saw you a few weeks before we saw you, we gotten some series of downloads about addictions. Morgan did a great post on it and, and, and it went in the explanation we got in the transmission was it goes much deeper than what we think are our addictions like food and sex and drugs and rock and roll and smoking and drinking. It was actually the energetic addiction frequency or whatever you want to call it that comes in so many different ways, including, you know, like, you know, being on your phone all the time and, you know, surfing the net, but yeah, it is a good time to do it. And I have a feeling that we're not, well, I, I don't have a feeling. I know we don't have a choice. It's that let go or be dragged thing. And, you know, you can either go through it easy or you can face the facts, you know? Yeah, I still haven't answered your initial question. No, oh, we can get back to it. <laughs> You're good. You're good. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff that is going on right now. There's a, it's like all culminating. And the most fascinating thing, one of the most fascinating correlations, actually there are several, um, but one of the most ones, uh, fascinating ones that I found is that, you know, through this being quarantined, when, I don't know if you remember this guy, his name was Jose Arguez. He was one of the founders of the 
oh, was that a harmonic convergence back in 1987? It's one of the, yeah. yeah, yeah I remember that of, name. I'm trying to remember. Somebody has been on the show talking about him. Yeah. Well, he actually, he uh, investigated Lord Pakal's tomb, this uh, Mayan leader way back yeah. in the day. And uh, the number one thing he got from that was that we need to live without time. Now I noticed that most of us in this genre, we don't wear watches. We don't really know what yeah. time it is anyway. And most of us try to try to live without time, but you know, that's why I don't have any specific scheduling for uh, N5D spirit chat because who knows, maybe I'll have one tonight. Maybe I won't. I'm not yeah. going to force myself into having that, I and like living that by the structures of time. But what what's happening now is that because of this quarantine, so many people have no idea what day it is anymore, right. you know, or let alone the date or day. I'm lucky I remembered to come, that I had a show with you today. <laughs> I was going to send you a message. The same thing happens to me, you know. Same thing yeah. happens to me. I was I was sleeping five minutes before the first show today, <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, "Holy crap!" But yeah, yeah. I some you know, and sometimes I can't even. I had to like literally talk to myself and say, "What month is this?" And I draw a blank. I'll be like yeah. for. And the, you know, and I'm past, you know, something's wrong with me thing. I just figure it out and move on. You know, in the YouTube chat, people are coming up with all sorts of different um, symptoms that they're feeling. Some people are feeling shaky. Some people yeah. are sleeping more. And, you know, it's it, it all depends what, you know, on the individual, honestly. Yeah. You're going to get yeah. what you need, I think. And, and we're getting downloads within those energy uh, frequency updates. Yeah. And I, you know, and I got one uh, yesterday morning, I guess it had been going on for like three days and I won't get into the full blown part of it. I posted on it and a lot of people resonated with it. Similar to what you're talking about, like acknowledging what's going on. But, but the thing that I got, and of course I'm, mar I'm married to a shadow eater. And uh, so it's very familiar to me, the process of integrating, but the importance of it just to me, it's like in our face now, it's like, if you want to have a smooth ride, if you want to smooth the edges out, just keep on, you know, as things are presented, you know, if somebody makes you uncomfortable or you don't like somebody, keep pulling them up, keep pulling them up, keep pulling them up. And I think that's what's so incredible about what's happening collectively, because there's this huge contrast of things that are occurring. Everything's going to the extreme. You know, we haven't even, you know, if, if 10% or 15% of disclosure has occurred, what, I mean, 30% is going to look like you know, and 50%. And then, I mean, this is going to be huge. And of course I'm talking to the guy that said at the end of the last year, Hey, you're not going to be able to recognize um, the, you know, the world. Earth as we know it will be unrecognizable. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. We're already there. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's funny because um, Allie does um, these free weekly tarot card readings mm -hmm. on her uh, YouTube channel. And I share them on my N5D channel as well, but she saw this commonality coming up within all these, you know, just about every every different uh, sign, she's, there was like three different cards that she kept seeing over and over and over again, pointing to the middle of the week, toward the middle of the week of something really big happening. So we had the weekly leak drop yeah. and we also had the Schumann resonance blast. So it's, it's fascinating to see how stuff like this comes up in people's cards as well. Yeah, and it's amazing too because you know, if you look at, you know, we know the mainstream media is controlled mm -hmm. and you look at, if you go to Drudge Report, you go to CNN or whatever, and, and you look at the, and, and it's like a, it's like a false flag kind of frequency. Like, oh man, this is just like, but then on the other hand, and then of course in social media, you've got them all over the board. You know, you've got nurses making this and doctors saying this. And, and I, we watched a video shortly last night in Ireland where there was a, I don't know if it was a county or whatever, whatever they have over there, but the people were, protesting lawyers were representing them saying we this con this uh this uh um you know shutdown or whatever um is is you know not lawful we want it stopped we want it overturned and i think you're seeing some of those happening around the world so it's really interesting with all the different dynamics it's a really good time where you're forced because of the isolation to learn a greater discernment i mean i don't know how else to put it you know, I, I talked to my daughter. I did a video chat with uh, my daughter, Brittany, yesterday in New York. And apparently they're talking about lifting the restrictions there on May 1st. The beaches here, yeah. Sarasota, Siesta Key, are, are opening they open? up, they're opening they up are? on Monday, yeah. um, restricted-wise. They, they say you can't bring a chair, you can't bring an umbrella, you can just walk on the beach. Yeah. 
Yeah. So be it. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm okay you, with that. You can um, fish, swim, walk, and run. You can yeah. exercise, but you can't, you can't lay down and get a tan. No. <laughs> Which no, is kind of weird. walking. <laughs> and if it's like the ones in Northern Florida, you can only go for four hours in the first part of the day and four hours in the latter part of the day. Oh, in the middle of the day. In Jacksonville? Is yeah. that what they yeah, It's yeah. like, it's like eight to, to one. And then like, you know, like four to eight or something like that. But in several beaches south of us, the beaches are open completely. Right up. Yeah. 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 Well, there's not as many people down there. I don't know. I mean, and that's the other thing. It's all over the place. One day you hear that the governor's like Georgia's going to, uh, you know, pull the restrictions off and then and then they get back in the next day. They're not, you know, they're not supporting, you know, so it's it's really just kind of a cluster F, you know, I mean, it's just like, okay, what do I what what do I follow here to thine own self, to thine own self be true? I mean, there's this, where else can you go? Within? Yeah, that's what I mean. To thine own self be true. I mean, well, what, yeah. uh, what other choice do we have? And what is the one thing we've either been avoided or persuaded, uh, you know, pulled away from through the conditioning and, the, you know, all the matrix machinations? Yeah, that's it. That's the truth. You know, that's probably the last thing that the controllers want us to do is to go within, right? Yeah. But, you know, if you look at the, the it, for me, anyway, I can't speak for anyone else. I can't because there's so much information out there. And it's such, a, it's, it's just like a big whirlpool of different frequencies, like getting sucked down a bathtub and drain, you know, but to me, it's like that, whatever, whatever the, that, whatever we call that 1% cabal, whatever, fourth dimensional, whatever it is, I can see it's, 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 it's fading and it's fading fast. You know, it's really fading fast mm -hmm. because people are, are like going, hey, you know, this just doesn't make any sense. And that right there, when people start questioning stuff, that creates that creates change. Well, you know, Todd, you know, I, I, I just got into a discussion kind of um, with somebody that was posting on my I, I made a post on my personal Facebook page. And this person came in and basically said, how dare you bring this kind of stuff up? You're bringing attention to this, whatever it was that I was talking about. And blah blah blah, and you're, you know where attention goes, attention flow, you know all that. And, and I just, I kind of went off back at her, saying that you know what, I do appreciate people that are just going to hold space, hold the light. Yeah. They're playing an important role, and I greatly appreciate them. But some of us are galactic warriors, and we go into the trenches, we go and mm -hmm. get down and dirty, and we're we're there with a helping hand, reaching out for people that are just waking up because eventually like you were mentioning people are questioning everything right now eventually they're going to question why am i here what is my life purpose that's where you and i come in hey yeah. come aboard follow us yeah. we can show yeah, you're you not crazy yeah, yeah these things do exist uh yeah. you know, we can help them get over the shock and the wow yep. the shock and the awe <laughs> right yeah i mean yeah, it's, yeah. And, and then a, you know a number of people i read a, i read a post last night and morgan's been talking about it for as long as i've known her even i think longer that at some point we were all going to be put to work mm -hmm. and the, the, the post I read last night, I think it was the Linda Lou, Lee or Lisa Lee. I can't, and I apologize for not knowing. I think it's Linda Lee L I um, and very, very uh, you know uh, just kind of in the background kind of lady, you don't see her on video, but evidently I checked out her page. She, she does a lot of stuff, has a lot of powerful followers too. But anyway, she was talking about that. She was saying, uh, it's done. It's time. We're Get ready because it's time to go to work. There's going to be many, many people needing. And she went on to explain, and this was a transmission. She went on to explain that some people will do it like in a format like this. Some people will do it locally. Some people will do it globally uh, in different ways. Some people will just do it by the example of their energy. But, but that feels very real to me. You know that that it it's and you've been doing this a long time. Do you? How do you feel about it? How do you feel? Do you, do you feel the change coming? How do you feel about what what's coming? What's your? Well, what's you know, I, I did that. I did that um, New Year's Eve predict, prediction show, and you know, like we were talking about before. I, you know, one of the things I predicted was that by the end of the year, it'll be unrecognizable from the way it was last year. I, I think we've gone to a place right now. We created actual a node point in our evolution kind of like 9 11 this it's huge this is this is a node point but what ha is happening with this we're all learning how to go with them we're learning to live without time it's a huge point in our evolution yeah. right now yeah. um, so um i just kind of feel like uh you know this is moving forward on that show um i may also made the prediction that 
by June, um, I, I believe in June, is when we'll see the majority of these 153,000 sealed indictments being unsealed. Yeah. And yeah. we're getting hints of that it's, uh, you know, the ball's already in motion right now. Um, and it may take some time for that to happen. But when that happens, life as we know it, we thought this was different. And uh, then life as we know it from that point, every one of your favorite actors and mm. musicians, mm. you're going to look that, at them and think. That David Rodriguez uh, video was pretty cool. Laura Eisenhower's was very cool. David Rodriguez, I watched uh, some of it. Yes. But one of the things that he said, because he's, you know, he's a pro athlete and then he, I guess he got into doing some movies and stuff for new people in Hollywood. And he said that he, you know, some of the stuff he got was conversational, you know, uh, through another person. Uh, but he's, he said, I, you know, I was, I'm not given any names, but I was given names and, you know, some people are not in it and some people are. And uh, he said, but yeah, it was shocking. Absolutely. I would assume um, that every A-list actor, every yeah. A-list actor, anyone that's relevant, is mm. part of it. Yeah, you know, it's people like Celine Dion with that marketing of clothing that she had with skulls on the baby's clothing and stuff. Really? That, yeah, I great. saw something with her a couple of days ago. It was pretty trippy. I'd never noticed it before with her, and I was just like, "Whoa, that's not that doesn't even make any sense," you know. Mm -hmm. uh, how was I going to ask you? Um, so, like, for you personally. You've been doing this a long time, you know, so that we and you've got a really good handle on the external, the internal, you know, because you just have to spend a little time with you and know that I'm mean, as soon as I'm in, in, in your energy field, you can feel it. Have you had any type of uptick in? I mean, I'm not sure how you how you uh, experience things, but I mean, like dimensional experiences or visitation or just, you know, just getting messages through whatever Claire there is. Have you seen an uptick in your own? experience uh as the years gone on as the years gone on um i, I it's weird i see things before they happen they, they just come mm -hmm. and um you know i saw the event what happens during the event it's amazing yeah uh, what happens well in this particular vision i saw i saw myself standing in front of myself and then this white light floods the planet and when that happens you feel this unconditional love to a magnitude that you've never felt before and imagine the thing, the people, the, you know, the people that you love the most for me, it's my daughter. Um, you know, magnify that love that you feel a million times. And I'm probably underestimating it a million times. That's the love you, you're going to feel when this event yeah. happens. Yeah. Um, so, and then of course, obviously you've had something of an uptick because you've met, um, you've met and talk about uh, prophecy. <laughs> so you met the girl of your dreams, no pun intended. Literally. But, yeah. Hey, now, what about that? Has I mean, because that was a powerful thing. I saw when you came out and and made that uh, post, and I was like, whoa, you know. Then I went to your to your YouTube, and I saw yeah. the work that you were supporting of hers. Have you expanded? Uh, have you noticed anything? Has it been a whirlwind? But have you expanded since you guys connected? Uh, well, we're, what we're really looking forward to doing is working one on one, kind of like what you and Morgan do. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah together in the flesh and um, making those connections. You know, um, we both do um, our own little versions of white magic. So um, right on. whatever we can do to help humanity, I think that's, right know, on. we're here to make a huge difference, just like you and Morgan are doing. Yeah, man. So, so uh, how, how long, I mean, I don't want to get too personal, but I mean, are y'all geographically challenged or? Uh, yes, right now, um, yeah. but we're making plans. I'm hoping to go out there on June, at the beginning of June. Right on. Oh, that's that, that's what I was going to say, too, on your comment, too, about the indictments. Uh, I don't know if you've ever followed Franco Di Nicola's work. He started with Collective Evolution. He's been around a long time, too. I mean, a real long time. But uh, and he's actually just put out a series on YouTube. He's got like 18 or I want to say about 22 videos he's putting out free. It's amazing. One to two hours. But anyway, he he has been saying he comes on the show about twice a month. He's been saying for quite some time he's called it pretty accurately through the current time, but the whole time, since I remember since like December, January, he said, when we get to June, it's going to like blow up. Like, you know, it's not even going to look anything. And then of course he says the same thing you do, but by, by the end of the year, it's even going to get uh, more expansive. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, I think a lot of people are feeling that. Um, we're getting some of us, you know, I, I call I call them first responders. Many of us get the same message. Some of us just get it a yeah. little bit earlier than others and we put it out there and then everyone else gets the same message. It's kind of like, you know, the invention of the light bulb or electricity. You know, it's invented in at the same time all around the planet. Just one person happens to come out with it a little bit quicker than the other person. Yeah, know? exactly. Yeah, it's just like that video because uh, we just happened to be, you know, just you know, chilling out before we went to bed last night. So it must have been late, and um, and so I just happened to flip on the phone and I saw Carrie Kay with with uh, Jason, and so we flipped it on and listened to three or four minutes of it, and then Morgan said, "Yeah, he's talking about what we just got," you know. So yeah, to your point, yeah, and that yeah. and that's what I said at the top of the show. A lot of, especially, it's been very evident uh, this year. Like every month, there's more and more stuff lining up, you know, and everybody's kind of coming out and explain it in their own words. But it's all it's all starting to align, which is a great yeah. sign as well. It's kind of like the convergence of timelines right now, where it doesn't matter what you choose, you're pretty much going to be guided in this direction right here. <laughs> here, here, here we are. Right? Yeah. And then, of course, the the sharing of the experiences, like, you know, in 5D chat, spirit chat, you've got, you know, I don't even know because I've never counted, but I mean, there's got to be, you know, at times I've seen it, 15 people, 20 people, mm -hmm. and everybody's just telling their story, man. Nobody's selling anything. Everybody's just saying, man, this is what I'm feeling. This is what I'm feeling. And to me, that's where the gold is. I mean, other than our personal shadow work, being able to talk to people uh in that truth frequency uh, just you know you know w across the board you know the dimensional stuff the you know i was vomiting all day yesterday and all the things that go with it you know it's, it's funny i see some of our regulars in youtube right now uh desiree and gary and uh fifth world uh, a bunch of people are in there right now just um chatting away so yeah um hi to everyone that's yeah YouTube. thank you very much because we usually get about 30 people there's 60 people so that's that's got to be your group man <laughs> but i'm glad to be integrating the audiences again you know and i actually look forward to collaborating more i know we're going to do it you know what todd i was i was talking to ali about this there's really no competition in our genre because we're all on the same how can you be competing against somebody on the same team you know yeah you can't we're, we're all in this together you yeah. can't it's like a big buffet right yeah, yeah. You know, plenty just, of food for everyone yeah <laughs> I've been watching that. Uh, we just got through watching that series Vikings, the History Channel series, which was actually pretty cool. We watch series to, to process and just let things integrate. But uh, they have these anytime there's having a big meeting or a victory, they have these big uh, feast. And that's what I see it like. We're all in this big room, just chilling out, drinking, dancing, you know, laughing, joking and living and loving, you know, and it's a uh, and it's a frequency that's expanding now. One of the things that that caught my attention last night in this Linda Lee post was she was talking about um, in respect to, you know, the, how things are changing uh, that it's, it's everybody's affected. Same thing. Jason saying everybody is, we're at a point now where energetically everybody's going to get it right. Kind of like, I guess in, a, in an energetic sense, uh, the flash or the event, but I also was thinking, well, how could that happen? Because there seems to be a parallel and that parallel could very well be the indictments and, and some of the other stuff that's coming out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, could well be. Now, um, I'm just looking in the Zoom chat, JW, we were talking about how there's really like no competition here. JW is a grain, no competition. And it raises consciousness, frequency and vibration around the world. And what I was talking about, you know, with, with Ali, I think this, I want, what I want to do is reach out to everybody that's in this genre and to have everybody create one page on their website that dedicates it to links to similar websites. Like you'll create a 728 by 90 banner and like a little paragraph right up. And everybody will do that with one another. That way we overcome the whole shadow banning BS that all of us are going through right now. Yeah. And we're yeah. sharing amongst ourselves. Yeah. yeah, that's, yeah, because, you know, and, and it is, if you have like that shotgun approach, you know, it's like a machine gun shotgun combination, because they, they're pulling, I mean, stuff's getting pulled, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, it's getting pulled. I, I yeah. last night, I went to YouTube, to, and I searched verbatim, you know, WikiLeaks drops 20, you know, such and such date, you know, and there wasn't one video on it. 
<laughs> and I know there had been one or two, but I guess they pulled them and then somebody will put them back up. Another thing, you probably get this as well. People are being being unsubscribed to your yeah. channel. I had a person on my last uh, spirit chat that said that he was unsubscribed to my, and I, I had no part of that, obviously, but you know, my, my, my subs total subscribers here on YouTube has been 153,000 for like over like two years or something like that and dropping, which is dropping. impossible because I know that I'm bringing more and more people aboard, but they keep unsubscribing more and more people, even yeah. more people than I'm bringing aboard. Yeah, I've got some of that. I get, I get it every now and then I get a nasty message, but, but most of the time people are nice about it and they'll, they'll think I unfriended them or, you know, and, and notifications, I mean, yep. you know, and I, and yeah, it's, it's there and you just keep plugging away, you know, somehow or another, I know that it's um, whatever we're doing like this right now, because of the, the, the amount of energy in this vortex that we've created that we're just part of with these hundred and 200 people here that um, it's energetically affecting the entire grid, even though they might be doing this or this might be happening. Uh, we're, we're not, it's not uh, a fruitless uh, initiative. This has been going on a long, long time, especially with people like you, because you not only have been doing it a long time, you know, like Morgan's been in it like 20 years, but you've been very public since what, like 2008, 2010, something like that? Yeah, 2009. Yeah, I can't even imagine that. Yeah, I can't even imagine that. I mean, you were interviewing George. I went. I go to your website. <laughs> you know, I go to your YouTube and look at some of the old videos. You had a lot of interesting people on there. Jordan yeah. Maxwell, you know, and, and quite a three few times, other people. Yeah, three times with Jordan, or at least. Um, yeah, Dolores Cannon, bunch of, you know, a bunch of names that are out there. But you know what? Like what you were talking about before. I agree. Just having people on that don't necessarily have that name but they all have amazing stories that you've never heard before. And we all have these amazing stories. That's why I love the spirit chat because yeah. I have a chance to ask people. I always ask it, everyone that comes in, how does your awakening begin? You usually ask your, your uh, mm -hmm. people that yeah. ask, um, yeah. you know, what led to you, what advice do you have? Stuff like that. I love, and chances are everyone's got at least two, three, four, 10, <laughs> 11 <laughs> great stories to tell. No so. kidding. Right. No yeah. kidding. So it's, but, and, but and my then, job is getting them out there. Yeah, absolutely. And then there's the the whole thing about you're still having this human experience, like, like the, you can't de-emphasize that. Like it's like it's like you know it's all all that stuff is coming together now. Yes. And and it's a, it's like an empowered human is is coming to the surface now, and it's it's contagious as hell. I mean, I'm seeing it everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and it's so easy to put a negative spin on it like the mainstream media does, but that that's not in my vocabulary. Yeah. You know, I'm always yeah. looking at the bright side of everything because I just feel it. I honestly feel it doesn't matter what the crap is going on around us that we're heading in the right direction and the ending, we've already won. Yeah. yeah. We've yeah. already won. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and that's what I was saying about that uh uh, Linda Lee, I didn't finish that thought, but one of the things in that transmission she talked about was that the, and she spoke in a very global way, like this is a message that everybody's getting, all governments, all institutions, they've got to comply, universal laws coming in, kicking ass, taking names, that these types of programs will be mainstream. And to me, the, well, anything besides what's, what's considered mainstream media now, would be better you know what i mean so like just even going that direction even when that stuff starts coming down and we start to see real information passed passed on uh i think that's going to have a huge effect on just like it has in our in our light worker communities you know a lot of people's ascensions have rapidly accelerated due to what you're talking about with spirit chat in 5d let's put it out there that these mainstream media television stations go down and they need programming out there and they come to Sology and N5D and we can get our shows on the mainstream media. That's right. It's funny you say that because, uh, yeah, last night when we connected last night, sometimes we talk, sometimes we don't, you know, or sometimes she'll channel or whatever you want to call it. And, um, but sometimes we don't say anything. Last night we didn't say anything. And I was sitting there and I said, okay, what, you know, what do I, you know, what can I do? And, and then all of a sudden it came in and I started watching this movie and the movie 
was like uh, I was like in a vehicle driving down a road, but you know that was the metaphoric part of it, and I was watching the manifestation or the further manifestation of my work of Sology of Morgan and I what we're doing, and it was so seamless, it was so easy, there was no forcing, there was nothing, it just showed me boom, 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 and it was it was a very positive ascension, you know, slant to it. Well, it'd be nice just to have to show up to work and everyone else takes care of the publicizing and the arrangement. Right. right. <laughs> well, that makes sense that everybody, uh, you know, everybody uh, gravitates to their specialty. And that that yeah. makes total sense, because I know this year and our future beyond it is all about co-creation and collaboration. Um, I'm still trying to get my arms around what happened uh, with, <laughs> with with your dream come true. Um, and I'm just wondering, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's huge. I've met a couple of people that have done that. I met this one lady that actually drew a picture of the guy and then five years later meets him. And I met the guy and I'm looking at the picture going, wow, that's just crazy. But, but did you get any, have you gotten any, um, Intel or do you have any perspective on why these couples are coming together and what their role is and that type of thing? I have a suspicion. Uh, you know, I, I know that in my past lives, like I had one that was at the end of Atlantis where mm -hmm. I was a, a scientist in charge of the uh, genetic modification of plants, animals, and insects. And I made these hideous creatures. Wow. And I wasn't proud of what I did. And I remember as Atlantis sank and I was underwater, I could see my creatures that were sinking along with me, uh, metaphorically, right? And they were hideous. They were ugly. And I kept telling myself, we can't let this happen again. We can't let this happen again. But yet, it's happening again right now. Another past life that I had was during the um, Spanish Inquisition. I was a Mayan elder, just an old man. I wasn't Kukulkan or anyone famous or anything like that. I was just an old man. And it felt like we were in like the Belize area of Mexico, but it was during the Spanish Inquisition and they had, the Christians had gone through the town and they just torn and beaten everything in sight and everything was tattered and shattered. And uh, they threatened to kill me if I didn't, uh, agreed to convert to Christianity. So I lied and I said, sure. But no, I ended up passing on my knowledge to my children, my grandchildren and my great grandchildren. Uh, so flash forward to now, I'm seeing this pattern. When do I come back? I come back at major epochs in time. Right. And I think a lot of us do that too. It's not just me, it's a lot of people are doing yeah. this. We're all yeah. coming back at these major epochs in time. And this is one of them right now, it's huge. Yeah, that resonates totally. I'm yeah. totally, I'm totally with you on that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's, it, and I think another thing that man, I'm getting, I'm totally like getting chills the whole time we're talking. <laughs> so that telling in tones going off in my ears, but uh, the, uh, the thing is like so much is, is coming on board. So much of the stuff that's, that we've been, I had access to, and some people, you know, to different degrees, like past memories, uh, skills and abilities, but the memories I think are going to be a really big part of, um, of what we experience because that's like profound. I mean, we've all had like these memories come back of like a trauma and how impactful that is kind of in a bad way. But, but I mean, imagine, you know, and I think actually Morgan picked this up a couple of days ago in one of the, in one of the connections we had in, and it was in regard to that the information from these past lives or whatever you want to call them, is is the is the code is the is the point i guess not to get caught up in this and that but to actually apply like you have it like in that example of the atlantis because you actually said to yourself and remembered hey I, we can't let this happen again so energetically you're doing the same thing you were doing before in my opinion you're creating from energy you know uh consciousness you know even though you know, it's, it's not as ugly as it was there no, no, no. A fascinating thing happened, though, the other day. Um, Allie had a past life where she was shot in her left eye with an arrow. And uh, yeah, I just got to cough real quick. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, she had this past life where she was shot in the left eye in the arrow. Now, if you know anything about QHHT, um, anything that happens on your left side is your past life. And on your right side is your current life. So if you got shot in the arrow, there's something in your past life that um, happened. Now, the other day, both of our left eyes were watering, just our left eyes. 
and we were constantly just just rubbing the eyes. And it was funny because I was either picking up on it or because we we're twins, maybe we both experienced it at the same time. I don't know, but it's it's coming together. You know, it's yeah. all that. And to reflect that at the same time, we've had so many things like that. It's everything is going on at once between us identically. Wow. Yeah. So have you been like on a fast track since uh, when you guys connect? I mean, like, because this is happening around the world. I mean, there are people that are making connections and, uh, you know, you can't argue with it. It doesn't make any sense. It's like uh, the foundational part of it is the, the past connections and the mission. But have you yeah, fast tracked since? Have you guys oh, fast tracked? I, I, I think so. I mean, everything. She's a workaholic, just like me. There, but there's silly little b bizarre uh, intricacies that we'll, we'll be doing without knowing the other one's doing the same thing. Like one time I had a pendulum in my hand. It was out of screen and it was going around in a circle in huge circles. It's doing that right now. Hmm. But she was doing the same thing <laughs> at the same time. She goes, and she mentioned it. My pendulum's going in huge circles. I go, so is mine. I lifted mine right up. I had no idea. <laughs> I had no idea she was doing that as well. I mean, little sim simple things like that, that we're doing constantly mirroring each other, exactly wow. mirroring each other. So, so like when you connected with her and y'all started going back and forth, how long did it take before that soul recognition came in? I guess you, it was already there for you actually. Right? Well, I knew, but I, I couldn't, well, I, you can't come out and say, Hey, you're my twin flame. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> so I actually, um, I would interact with her and I would, you know, I, I'd had, I had to have her see the recognition first. Yeah. And I, I um, yeah, eventually, yeah, she, she saw that. Cause I, I said, all I said was, I believe in you. And she yeah. goes, wow, that, that, that just shook something within me. Yeah. Like a lot. And we, and she talked about it. She's like, there a remembrance. Yeah. So um, there's no way I wasn't going to tell her anything or give her a clue or a hint, you know, that she was it, but she had to remember on her own. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's, that's, uh, that's funny because uh, I know when I met Morgan, um, it was immediate and I told her and I didn't know what I was talking about. Cause I hadn't <laughs> been in the game like you had, I was just right. coming off the streets, you know, and uh, you know, she, she didn't show me any daylight for like two years <laughs> she never and then one day she told me she goes oh yeah i knew i just didn't tell you i couldn't <laughs> okay let me ask you what's your sun moon and rising uh my daughter just did that for me the other day and i and i can't remember let me see if i can pull that up uh yeah while we're doing that uh morgan says you're all lit up and shiny uh she also <laughs> wanted to know if you guys have you are you got have you guys merged have you, have you, you know, people talk about merging, herioscamos, that type of thing. Typically when you're not in the same space, you know, it seems to happen a lot. I would think so. I would, I would say yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I would think so too. Yeah. Yeah. I'll look that up and I'll tell you, well, obviously I'm Sagittarius. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and so there's the, uh, so what was it? Oh, Capricorn was the ascending. Rising. Okay. okay. Yeah. What's the ascendant? And what's the other one? Your moon. Okay. So, okay. Okay. Capricorn, my moon's in Capricorn and my ascendant rising is Virgo and I'm okay. a Sagittarius. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. I'm, I'm a triple Libra. <laughs> uh, the reason I asked that was because, um, you know, being a triple Libra, everyone thinks that Libras are all about balance. But yeah. what it actually is, is we're constantly seeking balance. That's why I'm a workaholic. I know, I don't know what balance is, but yeah. what I do know <laughs> is, you know, uh, you know, I constantly question things and what Librans do, we can't make up our minds about anything. What do you, what do you want for dinner? Chicken or fish? I don't know. <laughs> Cause a lot of things don't matter, but what we do is we look at things from a larger perspective than most people. And we're looking at how is this going, going to affect multiple timelines? Is this in the, in the world's greatest interest, this simple little decision I'm going to make, is it going to affect any other timelines, alternate realities and stuff like that? That's why we have a tough time making decisions. So I can't make up my mind about anything, but as soon as I, as soon as I saw Allison, I knew it was her. There was no wow. doubt in my mind. And how long ago did this happen? Well, when did we have that meetup? January. January. Oh, wow. So you got some time in, man. Ascension time is not like regular linear time. Ascension, time, three or four months is like 10 years. <laughs> yeah, but we didn't actually talk until the end of March when oh. I had that reading. So, oh, wow. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, you. And oh, so you didn't talk at all. Escalated quick. Well, a little, just like uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little yeah. chit chat on. Wow, that was a good move. Yeah. If I'd so, have known what what uh, energy work was, I would have ordered a session with Morgan the first time. <laughs> I guess I did have one actually. We merged the first time. Yeah, yeah, that was great. Yeah. Yeah. So me I mean, like, reading. as a matter of fact, her readings. She did a reading. She had, she kind of had a sense about me anyway, and she did a reading uh, beforehand. She sent me that reading, and it basically said she was going to meet me, and um, then she did a reading afterwards. And she's still at that point. She's saying. She's telling everybody, no, 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 I'm not having another relationship. I don't want a relationship, but I know it's just. Isn't yeah. that the prerequisite yeah. though for these, for a lot of these couples that when you, when, we've had a lot, quite a few of them in the last few weeks on it. Uh, and they're both like, and we were the same way. Like I'm not being, I'm not doing it again. I mean, right. I'm fine being single and you know, I was celibate. She was celibate. I mean, you know, and then boom. And yeah. you know, it's, yeah. Yeah. it seems to be, it seems to be like a, almost like a cleansing or a, Mm -hmm. incubation period or something yeah yeah you're right you're right and uh you know it, it's just magical how it does happen when you're least expecting it yeah yeah and, like and i think through your friends not even looking <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> i knew i recognized her too when i saw that picture i was like i know her <laughs> and i'm like looking <laughs> But uh, yeah, and I think too, you know, uh, there one of the well, what seems to be, unless somebody can tell me something else, seems to be the one thing that for, uh, like moves the ball up the field, regardless of what we're talking about, meeting our partner or just having a more ease and grace, and that's just you know continuing to integrate uh, and balance, you know, within ourselves, which is which is interesting because it seems like it's gotten easier, but the polarities have gotten wider apart, you know? So it's like, how do I, how do I marry, you know, these, this dark stuff over here with this pure light over here? I mean, how do you do that? I mean, so it's like every day, the energy is further. It's simple. Don't even worry about it. It just happens. Yeah. 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 Simple. Yeah. That's, that's what I think. I, yeah. to a degree, I think that, that, and, and actually Vera, Vera Ingeborg said something to me on a show last year, about the time I did one with you on this, on my show. Uh, and she's, and I kept telling her like, Oh, I got to do this. And I got to do that. Cause I used to be a workaholic. I'm, I'm like, I'm like fighting it still a little bit now, but I'm doing pretty good. But I kept telling her, Oh, I got to do this. And I got to do that. I can feel it. She goes, what you're feeling is the alignment. So just chill out. You're just aligning with it. And, and, and that's really made more and more sense to me since that day you know especially this year especially that since especially since we've been in florida florida's been real really really uh nice you know in terms of the uh, the progress and the expansion well it's good for the psyche too you know it's sunny every day and you yeah. just feel good when you wake up yeah i'm uh yeah i had some friends that were like uh, inviting us you know north it doesn't matter what part of the country as long as it's north <laughs> i'm like i don't want to go I, unless I have to, I don't want to go anywhere. I love no. being in the sun. Yeah. You know, when they put that lockdown a couple of Sundays ago, I went out there. I just went out and walked out there and it was beautiful, man. There was a family of four or five playing ball over here. There was a couple of uh, couples taking a stroll. I mean, you know, uh, it's, it's, it, we're the 99.99% how they're going to stop us. Right. Energetically and otherwise. I hear you. So um, I know you got a show, you got to go. I wanted to just let everybody uh, know. Uh, he, Greg just said, if you didn't catch it, you know, he's got in 5D. It's been around for a long, long time. It's got a strong presence in Facebook, strong presence in YouTube. He puts in a good three, four hours a day, you know, from what I can tell. And I, and I check on him a lot because I like to pop in on some of his spirit chats. So he has these spirit chats. A lot of times in the evening, he's about to have one now in about five minutes um and uh you know it's a it's a really cool place same type of frequency that we have here at soldier you where people are supported and they can share their experiences you know uh, another way to put it is where all the crazy people go but no it's actually uh it's really really down to earth you know and if you want to get a shot of it you might want to check it out in a few minutes uh or maybe tonight or tomorrow night when he has another show but i wanted to ask you before you go how, how do you this is just my curiosity how do you do that like do you go into it? I know sometimes you put a title, we're going to talk about this, but I also noticed that you just start, it just kind of goes, right? I mean, do you, is it a lot like your your attitude towards scheduling, just kind of see what happens? Yeah, I, I, I write little bullet notes and that's about it. 
Yeah. I just wing it. Right on. Right on. Yeah. That's well, it. man, I love getting together with you. I look forward to collaborating with you. And I hope I get to see you before we leave the state, whenever that may be. Could be very soon. Yeah. I don't know. But, uh, man, I love you. Thank you so Thank much you for what you're doing. I, I can't wait to, uh, you know, visit with you again in person and, you know, for the third time and see what we can do, what we can create together. But thanks a lot, Greg. Thank you. Check out n5b.com when you get a chance. Also, check out Allison's website, too, Psychic Alley, A L L Y psychicalley.net i'm gonna go that out now i'm gonna go subscribe to that one now all right brother you take care you as well love you thanks thanks a lot